these days I'm introducing myself as Lucy because I really like the reaction I get. This is not a normal guy. Anymore. And since December, late December, I've been doing one thing that scares me every single day. And you can guess what my scary thing is for today. <laughs> It started with a book I was reading in the holidays, and it's called The Four Hour Work Week. Super spammy title, I know. Okay, just bear with me. In this book, it gave me a challenge. It said for the next two days, every single person you come to contact with, make eye contact and hold it until they look away. <laughs> and I'm the kind of person that when I do something, I give it a hundred percent. Okay? And I did this. I remember waking up that morning, going for my run as usual, and just freaking people out. I remember the couple very clearly. I made eye contact with them, held it for as long as I could, and they looked away. And I got this disgusting feeling in my stomach. It just overwhelmed me. The next morning I woke up, and my mom <laughs> said to me, we're going to the market today. So you can imagine how many opportunities there were for me to make awkward eye contact with people. And I swear, I kept every single last one of them. And I won every one. And a very interesting thing started happening. I started to realize, well I started to notice, in every single person I looked eye contact with, I made eye contact with, I could see insecurity. And I realized I'm not the only one. And it's a nice little game to know in your head that everyone's insecure, but when you see it, it's a whole nother story. And this made me ask myself, what's my kryptonite? What is holding me back? And what am I afraid of? And I know that every person in this room has their own kryptonite. They have something that they're afraid of. I read this quote. It said, a person's success in life can usually be measured by the number of uncomfortable conversations or <laughs> conversations he or she is willing to have. And this was the starting point for me. This is what really drove me. I wanted to be successful in an area of my life. And that was the fuel, was that quote. This is my brother. I love this guy. He's hilarious. I love his mustache. He shaved it off, but anyways. <laughs> we started making chapters for one another. We said, Go ask a girl's number. And the thing is, if the first person to suggest the challenge has to do it first. My brother did it. He just went to a girl and did not introduce himself. He just asked a number. And yeah, it did not work out for him. <laughs> so in my head, I was imagining what I meant. Um, and we were walking up and down the road. I was looking for my opportunity. Uh, and in my head, I saw what was coming, and it was clear. The story was so believable. And there was not a single doubt in my mind that I was going to get instantly rejected. And I worked on the courage, and I did it. I went to a girl, and I asked for a number. And she got up and hugged me. And I was completely shocked. And she was so happy that I asked her. Yeah, and um, I remember going back to my brother after that experience and telling him that I'm never going to believe that story that comes into my head. You must see the story for what it is. It's a story. It's not truth. And when I realized that, that started opening up doors and I didn't want to stop. Um, I started writing this thing on my arm every single day. I started, I wrote one thing that scares you. I got this tattoo recently, by the way. It's really fucking crazy. But, um, <laughs> Um, so we have the story, and when you go to face the fear, most of the time it doesn't go your way. I'm going to be honest. Most of the time the story is inaccurate. Sometimes it's very pleasant. And what I started realizing the more I immerse myself in these scary challenges is that all our fears are fears of feelings, not of outcomes. When you go to that girl and you ask her for a number, she's going to say, no, politely. 
it's the pain before and after that really hurts us, that endures. So if you can get over that, you're going to be good. So I want to encourage people tonight to approach your fears. Don't run at them, okay? Just th give it some conscious thought before you do it. Um, yeah, otherwise it doesn't go so great. So approach it. And start small. This is a small spider. So don't go out and tackle the line. Make the fear as small as possible and build up momentum. And that's a good question because it takes a lot of energy to face your fears. It takes a lot of courage and consistent practice. And for me, this has been the most powerful, um, <laughs> the most powerful thing for change I've ever experienced in my whole life. I remember <laughs> One of the challenges my brother said to me is go to a, a restaurant, stand on a table, get everyone's attention, and shout, My name is Lucien de Toy, and someday I'll be successful. <laughs> Will Smith did it, by the way, when he was in sweat, he's just letting you know. I'm starting to believe those words more and more every single day, and I want you to do this. I want you to do one thing that scares you in the service of something greater. Thank you very much.